Hey there guys, my name's Grace and in this video today we're going to have a go at doing a few different arts activities inspired by the artist Vincent van Gogh. Now you might have heard of Vincent van Gogh before and a lot of the time he is somebody that's taught at school uh, but if you haven't heard of him don't worry, he is probably one of the world's most famous and well-known painters. The painting that he's the most famous for, and the one that you probably looked at if you studied him in school, is his painting, Sunflowers, which I happen to have a poster of right here. Um, you can see all of these lovely bright yellows, and also how each individual sunflower is painted differently. But although this is a brilliant painting, I think that it's looked at a bit too much, and that means that some of his other excellent paintings aren't really showcased in the same way. So for today I'm just going to go like this and this video is more going to be about his life and his lesser known works which we're going to have a go at creating our own versions of. We're going to have a go at doing three different activities today. The first one is quite a short one just to get us warmed up and thinking creatively and then the second two follow on from that and they're going to be looking directly at Van Gogh's paintings and using them as inspiration. But feel free to dip in and out of this as you feel like it. You don't have to do it all at the same time. You can do one activity and then come back to it another day. I want to point out that throughout this video I am going to be pronouncing his name wrong because when we in England say Vincent van Gogh or Vincent van Gogh we are saying it incorrectly um, because he's Dutch which means he's from the Netherlands. You should say it Vincent van Gogh but as you can see that isn't a very natural sound for me to try and make uh, and actually it might be fun for you guys at home to give it a go so I'm gonna count down from three and then I want you to see if you can do your best Vincent van Gogh okay don't feel self-conscious it's totally fine three two one Vincent van Gogh okay so you're not gonna hear me say it that way again but in future, if you want to correct somebody and feel really smart, then you can tell them that is the proper way to say it. I've put my glasses on for this first activity, just so that I can see clearly. And this first activity is going to be based around our emotions and the way that we feel. Now, Vincent van Gogh was somebody who struggled with his emotions a lot of the time. He had quite serious mental health problems, so he felt sad for a lot of his life and he thought that painting was a really good way to channel those emotions and also to show other people how he was feeling with a visual. What's really special about him as a painter was that he didn't paint exactly what he saw but he painted his own version of what he saw through his eyes, his own lens. Now I'd like you to grab a piece of paper, just plain paper, it could be in a notebook, and then something to draw with. So maybe some different coloured felt tips, or some colouring pencils, or even some paints and a paintbrush and some water. But do remember that if you are going to paint for this activity, make sure you put some newspaper down because it might get a little bit messy. I want you to split your paper into six. So you've got six different squares and you can split it into six by doing two lines down the middle and then one across there. And don't worry about the lines being straight. As you can see, I've made them nice and wavy because we don't have to make straight lines. That's not what this is about. So in each one of my squares, I've written a different emotion, a different emotion that I think I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, now, you might feel happy a lot of the time, you might feel sad, you might feel angry, you might feel confused, but there are lots of other emotions that you could put here, like joyful or peaceful. Be as imaginative as you possibly can when thinking of emotions. And if you need a little bit of inspiration, have a look at some emojis and see if you can write the emotion that you think they're feeling. There's no right or wrong way to do this because we all experience emotions differently. And of course, there's no real way to show what an emotion actually looks like because 
when we feel emotions, we only feel them inside ourselves, um, in, in our brains and in our bodies. So I just wanted to show you uh, the first square, which I filled in as an example. Um, this is what anger looks like to me. When I feel angry, I feel very spiky, very irritated. And the colours that I've picked are reds and orange and black, because those colours really scream anger to me. So I'm going to fill all of my other squares in and I want you to get going as well. So what you're going to end up with is a patchwork of different pictures and I'm sure yours looks totally different to mine if you've already done it. I kind of just let my brain take over and just started thinking about what that emotion felt like to me and trying to put that onto the paper. My next challenge for you is to get another piece of blank paper and try and do one bigger piece dedicated to one emotion. So pick one from your patchwork and then try and make a larger piece of art just for that emotion on this piece of paper. So the little square that I picked to expand on was my peacefulness square. So peacefulness means feeling very calm and very content and very in the moment. Uh, I picked lots of green and blue lines to express that, kind of going any way that I wanted them to. And the bigger artwork that I made, inspired by that emotion, was this one here. So you can see I added some more colours, some more shapes, and just kind of let my pen go wherever it wanted to. This is the end of the first activity, so you can stop here and come back another time. Or if you're still feeling creative and want to carry on learning a little bit more about Van Gogh, then stay with me and we're going to do a bit of painting next.